Hello and welcome back for another saxophone tutorial with Nottingham Music Excellence. So I'm going to play that lovely little piece in the B list today, Farewell for a Fox. Really do like this piece, I think this will be a big favourite with young players. And so if you're looking to improve your saxophone playing, then don't forget of course to subscribe to Nottingham Music Excellence, click on that bell notification next to the subscription and you will receive other updates of videos that I do around this same standard. Hope you enjoy the video, here we go. Okay, so you've heard the music now, let's say a few words and chat about the difficulties of this piece. So I think the main three points in this piece can be summarised as number one, you need a really consistent, smooth tone quality. Number two, play with really effective phrase lengths here and try and get the breathing every four bars. And number three, try and demonstrate a really clear pulse and try and set the tempo yourself against that gentle syncopation in the piano part. Also, you'll notice on this piece that the breathing marks are actually indicated in the music, which you don't often get. And you can see that there's some very clear four bar phrases here to get through. Which leads me on to my next point that I think you've got to be careful not to wallow in this piece. Don't play it too slowly. Just let it tick along and hopefully you should get through the four bar phrases without losing your breath. So take your breath after that and then also notice that it's, it's common practice where needed to steal a bit of time from the music uh, instead of adding time to the music. So you notice on that E that I just played, you've got a whole bar, four beats, and then there's a crotchet tied onto that. So feel free, if you need to, to steal a bit of time from that last crotchet so that you're not late on the next crotchet. That's really important. So in summary, try to make sure that you steal time to breathe and not add the time to the music. And then onto the next phrase. <laughs> And then another breath there. And then so on and so forth. So try if you're really struggling to get through the breathing, then it may be that you're either just um, playing it a little bit too slowly. Also make sure that the reed and mouthpiece set up, make sure it's right for you and the notes are speaking really easily. So don't play on too hard a reed, but also don't play on too soft a reed that it sounds really sort of thin and nasty. So try and make your, your best possible smooth sound. I would suggest a good setting for pupils is either a Yamaha 5C or 6C mouthpiece, usually with a standard Van Doren Strength 2 reed and that should give you a nice, easy speaking, nice, clear sound. So I think follow the dynamic markings carefully here and you'll notice it gradually picks up a bit in the, in the markings from bar 18 onwards. Um. 
So I think that, that crescendo in the E there at bar 19 is really important to set up the next dynamic. And then after that F, then bring it down, back down to a gentle close again. So I mentioned as one of my points of interest on number three to demonstrate a clear inner pulse against that syncopated piano part. Now that I think is probably the trickiest part of the piece is that it's not one of those piano parts that kind of helps you out and, and you play with the piano and it, it plays the same notes as you. So you've really got to be able to know how your part fix, fits against the piano. So I think in summary what I'm trying to say is don't hang on to the piano part. You, there isn't much there on the piano part for you to sort of play along with that, you know, the piano doesn't really play your notes much in this. So try and demonstrate your own clear pulse and try and lead the performance yourself. So I think that's it for the tricks and tips for this piece. I think that's all I'm going to say about the music. It's one of the slightly easier pieces, I think, of grade two. But sometimes, you know, those slow pieces are, are the most exposed pieces. So I think um, perhaps some of the difficulty of this piece actually lies in the quality of your performance. So try and make a really good quality sound here to make the piece really work. So onto the play along section now. I want you to try and play along with the piano accompaniment yourself. I'm not going to do a metronome click track for this video like I have done with other pieces because I think this is perhaps a little bit easier technically speaking. So now try and have a go along with the piano part yourself and see if you can get it really in time. Here we go. Okay guys, I think that's it for Farewell for a Fox. I hope you enjoyed that. It's one of my favorites, I think, out the grade two pieces. And if you did use the video and you did like it, of course, click that like button and let me know how you're getting on with grade two. But for this one, that's it. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.